Related Rates, Problem 3, Volume of a Sphere. Part 1. Air is being pumped into a spherical balloon at a rate of 5,000 cubic centimeters per minute. How fast is the radius of the balloon changing at the instant the radius is A, 30 centimeters? I invite you to stop the lesson and try to solve the problem, then restart to see if you got it right. Here's our balloon with a radius of 30 centimeters. Now we have our four things to consider. Find, when, given, and equation. What do we need to find? We need to find how fast the radius of the balloon is changing. So we'll call this DRDT for the change in radius over the change in time. And the when? Well, it's when the radius of the balloon measures 30 centimeters. And we place this in the when space that R equals 30 centimeters. And what are we given? We're given that air is being pumped into the balloon at a rate of 5,000 cubic centimeters per minute. And we'll call this DVDT equals 5,000 cubic centimeters per minute. And for an equation, we get the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now implicitly differentiating the equation, we get DVDT equals 3 times 4 thirds times pi times r squared dr dt. The 3 out front comes from the r cubed or third power when using the power rule of differentiation. 3 over 3 canceled to equal 1. So we have dvdt equals 4 pi r squared dr dt. To solve for dr dt, divide both sides of the equation by 4 pi r squared. So we have dr dt equals dvdt divided by 4 pi r squared. We can next fill in our numbers on the right side of the equation, 5,000 cubic centimeters for dvdt and 30 centimeters for radius. So that gives us 5,000 over 4 pi times 30 squared. And here we have 5,000 over 4 pi 30 squared in the calculator. Press enter. We get 0 0.442097, which we circle here. So our answer is DRDT, or the rate of change of the radius over time, is 0 0.442097 centimeters per minute, which we box in as our correct answer. Now we arrive to part two. At the time when the volume and the radius of the sphere are increasing at the same numerical rate, what is the radius? For this additional problem, we'll get out our differentiation work already done for part one and we have dvdt equals 4 pi r squared dr dt. In order for dvdt to equal dr dt, 4 pi r squared has to equal 1. So that's the equation we start with, 4 pi r squared equals 1. Now to set about solving for the radius, we divide by 4 pi. So we have r squared equals 1 over 4 pi. For the next step in solving for the radius, we take the square root of both sides of the equation so r equals plus or minus the square root of 1 over 4 pi. And because we're finding a distance and we cannot have a negative radius because we can have a, can't have a negative distance, we eliminate the negative answer and get r equals the square root of 1 over 4 pi. And getting out our calculator again, we enter these values, press enter. And we get a radius equal to approximately 0.2821 centimeters which we box in as our correct answer. That's about three millimeters, very small. I hope that you didn't find this problem too difficult. This has been Related Rates Problem 3, Volume of a Sphere. Thanks for viewing.